today I'm going to show you how to make this indulgent, creamy hot chocolate that's low carb and keto friendly. And I've written a blog post, which I'll leave down below, which has the recipe, step-by-step -step instructions and lots of ideas for flavor adaptations too. So click through for that and be sure to leave a like, subscribe for more videos, comment to let me know if you give this lovely warming hot chocolate a try and what you think of it. So I'm going to chat you through the ingredients and then show you how to make it. When it comes to ingredients in the hot chocolate, you've got lots of choice for low carb keto friendly foods to include. I'm using almond milk as my milk of choice, but you might prefer coconut milk, cashew milk or any other keto friendly milk. I've got this 85% dark chocolate. You may prefer to use some cocoa powder or a bit of both to make it extra chocolatey. I've got this cream over here, fresh Irish cream that we're going to heat gently into the hot chocolate to make it lovely and luxurious and creamy. And here in Ireland, you get this freshly whipped cream. You might prefer to use one of those squirty creams, one of those cans of cream, but this is already whipped cream that we can use as a lovely whipped cream topping so now we're going to put it all together. I've broken up a row of chocolate that's going to be my chocolate in my hot chocolate. I've broken it up into little pieces so that when the milk is heated up then it'll be ready to go. Now my hack for getting the right amount of milk. I've got my saucepan here that I'm going to be cooking it in and I've got my mug over here and then we'll just pour the milk, the almond milk straight into the mug. I'm going to go for about a three quarter of a cup of almond milk. Okay, I've got that over there and now we're going to top it up with cream. Okay, so I've got the almond milk in there and then we'll pour cream on till you're happy with the amount. Oh, that looks so good and indulgent. So now I'm just going to pour that into the pot. There you go. <laughs> so that way I've got the perfect amount. This is quite a nice generous sized mug over there. And so now I've got the perfect amount of milk. You can measure it out if you want. Three quarters of a cup of milk or almond milk and then a quarter of a cup of cream. Or do like I did and just measure it out into your mug. That way you've got the perfect amount. Now I'm going to pop this onto the stove top over medium heat and get it heated until it just starts to simmer. So I've got it on the stove top now. Give it a little stir from time to time just so much, nothing catches. And just heat it until it just starts to steam and a little bit of bubbles appear and then we'll take it off the heat. It's starting to steam already. Just keep a close watch on it. As I said, give it a stir from time to time. <laughs> it's getting steamy and as soon as it comes to bubble, we'll remove it from the heat. I've removed milk with steaming. I moved it from the heat. And then we'll pop the chocolate in and we'll give it a good stir through and the heat of the milk will melt that chocolate to make a lovely hot chocolate. There you go. The chocolate's all nice and melted in, so we'll pour it out into the mug now. I've got my mug waiting and we'll pour the hot chocolate out. Perfect. And so now I'm going to top it with the whipped cream. This lovely whipped cream. It's already whipped. We just put a lovely spoonful on top to make an indulgent finish with this perfect keto friendly hot chocolate. And that is the video for today. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to leave a like, subscribe for more videos, comment too. Let me know if you give this lovely keto hot chocolate a try and what you think of it. So thank you so much for watching and we'll see you again soon. Bye.